Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, this is some, uh, some of the beers that James sent me on the beer mail. He's up in Michigan and he sent me some beers. Uh, this is Atwater Brewery. This is their Dirty Blonde Ale. Ale blue, blue. Ale brewed with orange peel and coriander. Enjoy every day. It's got the date code here stamped on the bottom over here where it says beer is good and it's got January of 2012 here so I'm pretty sure that was when it was put in the bottle and uh, it is a uh, it is an American pale wheat ale according to what beer advocates got here they're out of Detroit Michigan uh, Atwater is and it is a summertime beer so we're getting into the warmer weather so uh, we're gonna give this one a shot and see what this one's about guys food pairing for this cuisine is Latin American German cheeses are earthy Camembert, Fontina, and the meat for this is poultry. The glassware is a pint, the becker, the stein, the mug, the nonic, the side dale, the wheezing glass. Uh, just about anything you want to pour this one in. Uh, we're going to get to cap off this thing and uh, see what it's about. 4.50 ABV, so don't sell on this one, guys. Uh, drink it when you get it. So Get your cap off this thing. And James, thanks again. I appreciate you sending me these beers. We're going to give them an honest review, guys. I'm not going to pull any punches because he sent them to me. If I like it, I'm going to tell you I like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. I have not had any beers from this brewery before at Water. And he sent me several from this brewery. So hopefully uh, we'll get some, get some good beers here. We'll see. But i tell you what, that is a golden macro locker yellow. It is very, very light looking, very very macro colored. I mean it looks just like Bud Light in the glass. It is very light colored. Got some bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Doesn't look over carbonated. Didn't pour a lot ahead and what it did pour there it dissipated. I made sure to pour that a little more aggressive. I didn't know what to expect. I've not had these beers before. Looks, uh, looks a little on the watery grainy side but hopefully it's not. Let's get a nose on it. I'm getting the, the lemony, coriander, spicy, a little, little breadiness in there too. They use uh, uh, un, unmalted wheat uh, when they brew this beer too. So. It's got a citrusy, lemony, coriander smell guys. A little bready, a little grainy. That's about all I'm giving, guys. Cheers. Let's give it a taste. Thank you, James. Cheers, buddy. Very light. A little watery. Giving a little bit of the coriander. It's not giving on a lot though, man. These, these, I classify these as the lawnmower beers. And this one just really doesn't have a lot of taste to go with it. Pretty thin. Little lemony, little bready, little grainy. That's basically what I'm getting. Uh, I don't know if I would classify this as a good lawnmower beer or not. Tastes pretty thin, pretty bland, guys. Uh, it's right out of the fridge. I'm not going to let it warm up too much, but I'm going to let the other half sip it, and I'll be right back, and we'll do the final chug on this one and see where we end up. Stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left. Uh, my personal opinion of this is uh, uh, it's kind of bland and watery. Uh, 
that's really not even up to a good lawnmower beer. That's really not enough taste for me. I mean, if you're into drinking the Budweiser's or Coors or Miller, it may be comparable to that. And, and not getting any, probably any bad ingredients like rice corn or any adjuncts that they put into that, uh, the macro lagers to give it head and all that crap. So, guys, final chug. Very thin, a little bland, not a, not a lot of big taste in this. I mean, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a blonde ale, so they're supposed to be a little on the lighter, crisper, refreshing side. But, I mean, this is really, really thin and, uh, and really watery, so uh, I, can't, I can't say. It's, it's an average. Uh, it may be just a, a slightly below average. So I'm going to give it to C. It's a four. If you, if you can get this beer uh, at Water Brewing, Give it a try if you like the, uh, the lighter blonde ales. This is very, very light. 4.50, so it's less than 5%. So very, very sessionable. You could drink quite a few of these uh, before you, uh, before it would kind of knock you down there, guys, depending on what your tolerances are. So uh, it, it, was, it was an average, uh, uh, average lawnmower beer is what I'm calling it. This is an American Pale Wheat Ale. And the wheat ales usually are a little on the lighter side anyway. Uh, as opposed to all barley. Uh, guys, uh, like I said, I'm going to give it to four. It's a C average. Uh, Rate beer has 28 overall and 44 in style. And beer average comes up with a 70. So uh, I may be giving it the benefit of the doubt. It may be just a tad below that. But I appreciate James sending this to me. He let me give it a shot and a try and review it for y'all guys. Uh, wasn't super impressed with this one, so hopefully the next one, one or two from that one is going to be a little better than this one. But like I said, this is actually not my style. It's a little lighter being a hop head and a stout guy. Uh, I kind of like something with a little more bolder taste than what I'm getting from these type of beers. So uh, Definitely a lot more beer as far as I'm concerned. Could have used a little more taste as far as I'm concerned too there, guys. So that rambling on, if you've had this or you've seen it and you like a lighter style beer like that, uh, give it a try, and if you're looking for something with a little more taste, this may not be the one you're looking for. So, guys, that being said, rate, comment, subscribe, and hit the like button if you like it, and we're going to look into prayers and more. Hope I see you then.